Hey there, welcome back. It's Kathleen from RoboBunnyAttack.com with an update to my how to take a screenshot of an entire web page screencast. Um, I've, uh, I, in my screencast, my original screencast, I showed two versions or two methods of taking a screenshot of an entire web page. Uh, those two methods were, first of all, you go to this website, controlq.org slash screenshots, and you could you could cut and paste uh, the URL, the URL for a web page in here, and then capture the screenshot. Um, but there was another method that I I actually preferred, which was using an extension, uh, and this is the extension I was using, Screen Capture by Google. Um, unfortunately, um, I, as I've recently discovered, uh, something has changed in this extension, and it no longer works. Well, it works, but you can't download the images anymore. Um, you actually have have to either publish it to Picasa or uh, or you could publish it to Facebook and and that didn't really suit my purposes because typically when I'm taking screen captures of entire web pages I want to use them later on for something and I just want to save it directly to my hard drive so um, so I went and I found another solution and I discovered awesomescreenshot.com um, and what's really awesome about this particular solution is that this works not just in Chrome but it's an extension you can install install um, across uh, various browser browsers. Uh, there's one available for, see it's also available for Firefox, for Safari. I've tried this in Opera as well too and it works there too. So let me show you how this works. It's pretty straightforward. The icon looks a little bit different right here, um, but the functionality is almost identical. I'll go ahead and click capture entire page and it just scrolls through the, the entire page. Um, and then here we see a preview of the uh, screenshot and I just click the little done button there. I could have gone back and annotated it, but this is fine. Um, I do have a few options here. I could save it online temporarily. I could save it on Digo, save it in my Google Drive, or my preference here is just to save the image as a file. So I go ahead and save that. And let's say I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'll say, you know, sample screenshot. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and take a look. We'll open this up. And here is the image. Okay, it's not terribly exciting. Let's try this again on a different site. How about, um, well, let's try, let's go to, uh, I think one of the original ones that I tried was on paperbagrecords.com. This is a fairly, this is a longer page. And of course, the sort of the example that we were using was this idea of you want to capture the entire page um, without, uh, without having to, you know, take individual screenshots and stitch them all together. So let's just give it a shot on here. We'll capture entire page and see it scrolling through the entire thing, grabbing all of that. And that looks good. I could annotate it if I want to, or I could just go ahead and click done and let's go ahead and save this. Uh, and there it is, paper bag records. I'll go ahead and save that on my desktop. Okay, sorry, I hope I'm not going too, too quickly here, but it's, it's a fairly straightforward process. And there we go. There it is. I can just zoom in. And there is the entire web page captured. Um, so um, that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, the, the, the extension or add-on is called Awesome Screenshot. You can get it at awesomescreenshot.com. And like I said, it is available for Firefox, Opera, and Safari as well. So super, super handy. Um, I recommend you use that from now on instead of Screen Capture by Google. Um, and of course, you can continue to use controlq.org slash screenshots. That works as well. Uh, but this is particularly handy for those sites that you want to capture, particularly if you have to be logged in, for example, because obviously this is not going to capture a page if you have to be logged in. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I hope that that was really helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.